Good morning, good afternoon, and good night to you wherever you are on the planet. It's your man's Gamage, and we are back. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are doing our very own DIY. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. So it's DIY, not DYI. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the bench, and we are going to be working on... um. We've seen, and if you've seen the Leisure Carry uh, belt, the Comfort Carry belt, if you've seen any of those floating around on the market, um, you've seen the versatility of what they provide uh, as far as wearing shorts, sweats, jeggings for the ladies or the metrosexual male. I don't know, I'm not him, so I don't know. But what I do know is for myself, I always use the Mod 4 uh, clips on all of my gray man solution holsters and i never have any problems with movement them latching on to sweats or shorts or any of that but we we're gonna do something today where if you know gray man solution we picked up what well, we've always had this next belt from gray man solution and whenever you get any of the ratchet system belts you have to cut them down to your size uh and that's the beautiful thing about them but then you typically have a good little bit of material left over and it's rigid like it is it it holds the weight of whatever it is we also have some extra mod four clips from gray man solution and the beautiful thing about gun tinkering and doing your own stuff is that you have a whole bunch of stuff laying around that you could just play with so we got clips we got bushings we got little extra brackets and pieces and of course you know we got the Dremel. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to do our own uh, comfort carry slash uh, leisure carry slash gray man solution slash next belt slash DIY project. If you're ready, smash that like button, hit the subscribe, let us know you're there. Guys, put your favorite emoji down in the chat today since we're doing our own and we represent the home team, the Bucks. We are going to put a skeleton, uh, some treasure for the booty, and uh, a hammer for do it yourself. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are down at the table. What I did not show you is we're gonna be doing all of our work on our Glock Bay mat. It is one of the most official gun mats on the market. Pick up you one from Glock Bay. Um, we have our Mod 4 clips, we have them. We have our additional piece of the uh, Gray Man Solutions belt. Um, we have our pin, we're gonna be marking out. We have our measurements coming with our Gray Man Solution holster for our EDC MMP. Um, this baby is hot, so let's make sure that we unload, show clear, drop the hammer, boom, clear. Uh, function check. Our Gray Man Solution holster is going to latch on the overside of this, but this part is going to be already attached to our shorts. So one of the things that I want to do is just get some markings down to see where we're going to put what. That's going to be pushing out from there. Um, with this here in firearm in holster, one of the things that I will do is I, you see that clearance right there? thing that I love about the Gray Man Solution holsters is with the wedge or the mod that they put on that piece, it gives me that ability enough to get a high purchase immediately behind that holster piece. You see that right there? Boom, I get high in there each time. Um, so what we wanna do is when we're, when we're putting our clips here, we're gonna mod ours down just a little bit low. We're gonna put these probably about right here so that way, this lip that sits on the lip of whatever we're carrying, I have enough room still for my finger to get underneath there. 
And we're also going to cut off the bottom of this. We're gonna cut off the base of that. So let's mark it. Let's get to marking. Now, once we cut that off, we're gonna use the Dremel to cut off that piece. We're also going to drill holes. We're gonna tap some holes right in here so that we can put the belt onto this directly. So let's go ahead and get the chopping first. Safety glasses, make sure you do everything with safety. This is really hot right now. Um, but I think we snapped through it. I mean, we got it in enough where we can, bada bing. Look at that. Nice, nice and flush. Nice and flush. That part would be actually locked on to the belt. So when we put it over, all we're doing is pulling this clip out and putting it on our shorts. So this is nice. I actually really like that. Something that we notice, um, we're going to, where's that? We're gonna change that bit for one of the more grinder wheels and I want to just smooth that edge out some. You see how that edge is like jagged? Although it's not gonna be touching anything, I don't, I just never want to brush up against that. So we're gonna grind that down a little bit. As you can see, we smoothed and kind of just beveled it out a little. So that way now, even though it's not gonna to touch anything, I don't want any jagged pieces. Um, we'll do the same thing with this one, just to make sure that every area is just smooth. All right, now, next thing, we're gonna punch holes in the back of here so that this can actually then mount on the belt from the rear, we'll push those back in. And uh, yeah, let's get some holes punched in this and get to working. So let me show you, I'll put the short on that finger, medium on that finger, and a long one on that finger. So look at that. So these are the sizes that we have to work with, right? So yeah, I think the medium would be sufficient. Let's say you, medium it is. Now we're going to get our back pieces and we're going to drill straight through this son of a gun. All right, so we're gonna put him on our real Avid vice block. Put it over that hole right there. And I don't think that's going to go down once I put pressure on it, but let's see. All right, safety glasses, activate it. And on our first hole right here. Need more pressure on this drill bit. This drill bit doesn't want to do anything. How about we do this? Two days later. Gang, listen here. It has been a minute. Uh, it's been at least two days since that last clip. I'm going to tell you what happened. We have been drilling and drilling and drilling, attempting to get through that metal. That metal is unpenetratable. It's almost as if the tubes are tied in no one's home. So let's let, let's go down to the table, man. God dog. Come come a little closer. Come come a little closer. All right, first thing we're going to do is choose which bit that we're going to use and to we're going to use a 3/16th. We're going to put you about right there. Where's my marker? 
Bum, 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 bum. It was right there. I mean, fine, fine tune it, right? Bam, bam. Bam, bam. So, we got it there. We've marked our holes. They show up right there. And we're going to punch through the leather right there. We're using our real Avid block to put it over one of the holes. And we're just going to punch straight through. Create a nice little hole and go right. Check out that. That's after using a 318th. Those holes aren't as defined. Well, they're not as defined for that to fit through. I can tell you that. Right, look at that. Nope. That little rivet's not going through there. So we're gonna grab this 316th and finish the job. Get in there, baby. I don't want the rivet to be loose on the inside. While I have it here, let me show you that baby. Look at that. I could not get that sucker through. Look, it just bent the metal in the back, but it would not open up at all. Beautiful. Snap right in the back. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. And my hole's a little off on the crookedness. All right, all right. Let's see here. Test number one. Now, one eternity later. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back from GunCon. Amazon has delivered the right package and we are basically going to just finish up this build. Bada bing, bada boom clips the same ones that we were using on um, before we're just going to mount them on bada bing and bada boom and uh let's see exactly what we got this is the fun part here all right one side is complete boom 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 i like it i like it um, this is going to be version one. Version two is we're actually going to put on the Alti clips. We're going to trim them down a little bit and drill a new hole right in the back in the center. So, boom. We're going to put a hole right there behind it and then at the top of it. And so that can sit like thus. Just like that. So we'll see on version two. We'll see. Hey guys, my wife just brought me a fresh squeeze juice. My wife just brought me a fresh squeeze juice. Squadros. Squadros. Ooh, I can take the beats. She's in there. Wow. Juicing. All right, where were we? Version three. Before we make any cuts here on the Alti Clips, um, this is what we're looking like on version three. Uh, the thing that I said a minute ago, what I may do is drill a hole in the center of the Alti clip just so that I can actually move it down a little bit further. I don't like that much material being stuck up, but I also don't know what it feels like. So we're going to now attempt to see what the Alti clip feels like. Version three. Here we go. Okay, one side in, see, one side in, I tell you what though, the Alti clips go on over really, really easier than those previous clips did. So now the Alti clips are there, that's, that's not sliding up at all, because of course the Alti clips are anchored down on the shorts. 
So bada bing, bada boom. And then let's grab our SIG P320, put it in. And as you can see, we, we left the drawstrings untied. Everything is untied at this point because we just want to see what type of resistance we get from the shorts. So now, boom, shorts pulled on. That's on. I could tie them and then it'd be even a little bit, or at least the shorts then be secured. What the? Boom. Now the shorts are secured. Shorts are secured. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, ooh. I'm not, I'm, I'm not gassing it. I'm not gassing it. I'm not gassing it. We're gonna slow this one down. I'm gonna do a draw, but I'm gonna slow it down. Let's see exactly what's moving. Microphone got out of place, I believe. Regular draw speed but I also just want to see what's moving. See, the belt hasn't come up at all. Alti clip is still fixed on. I mean, that's pretty freaking cool. Oh. Oh. I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. It feels, even when drawing the gun, like it feels a lot more, I, ain't gonna, I don't wanna say a lot more sturdier as much as it's just sturdy. Like it, it definitely is sturdy. I can give that. Now, if this is like this, then I can 100% believe that the alter, I mean, that the leisure carry system is 100% a dope setup. Mm. We'll put some Loctite on those. Uh, I could feel, uh, let me talk about that a little bit. I could feel where these were digging into my skin. So we'll definitely cut these down. We could, we'll trim these down. And I would like to go on and see the measurements of the Leisure Carry to see the length uh, or the width of what it actually covers. But um, I, I like it being further wrapped around me so in that, when I do go down to draw, my hand isn't tapping that alti clip at all. Like I do not like my fingers hitting that alti clip at all. So I'm pleased with it, y'all. I'm pleased. We, for the final version, we may trim those down a little bit. I may come back and show y'all those. But uh, for right now, I am pleased with the DIY, do it yourself, DIY leisure carry bam i love it guys i'm your man's gamage until next time never compare never complain and never compete why because you are the threat make sure to like comment and subscribe we are almost at 1000 guys we are almost at 1000 i cannot thank you enough so again like comment subscribe share it out to someone else and um until then god bless